More schools across central Indiana moving to virtual learning due to COVID-19 and illnesses causing staff shortages. Yeah, CBS 4's Eric Graves spoke with one superintendent about the issues that his school system is seeing. Ben Davis High School behind me won't see students till the other side of this upcoming long weekend. Dr. Jeff Butts, the superintendent, says he hopes this will give teachers and staff time to get out of quarantine and be ready to come back to school in person starting next week. We had several classes that were meeting in large spaces like the gymnasium simply due to staff being out. Dr. Jeff Butts, the superintendent of MSD of Wayne Township, says the district was doing everything it could to try and keep school in person at Ben Davis High School. In the end, there just wasn't enough healthy staff. We're battling all of those things right now, uh, and it has caught up to us at Ben Davis High School. Students at Ben Davis High School will be learning remotely for the remainder of the week. The superintendent is optimistic that by Tuesday, they should be able to return to the classroom. We know with a three-day weekend coming up, that gives us five days, uh, which is that quarantine period the CDC is now recommending uh, in order for us to be able to uh, get our staff and our students back. Wayne Township isn't alone. IPS, Anderson, Greenfield, and Warren Township have all had to switch some schools to online learning. For parents like Tim Baker, this can be frustrating. Every student learns better in person, just plain and simple. Baker has one child at Ben Davis and another at the elementary level. He's worried these COVID outages could cause more than Ben Davis to go virtual. It would affect, you know, my work. My wife and I would have to make arrangements. The superintendent insists Ben Davis is the only school needing to be remote right now, and he's hoping to keep it that way despite the ongoing COVID surge. We're going to continue in our schoolhouses to exercise the practices we know to be effective, and that's mask wearing and sanitization. Dr. Bud says asking families to do their best to follow safe practices at home and out in the community so school administrators can do their best to keep kids in school for the rest of the year. Reporting in Wayne Township, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. Eric,